So I first went to the Boundary Waters when I was six years old. It felt like I was coming home. My family's taking trips up here as long as I can remember, pretty much. We started down on Birch Lake. We actually stopped at Dorothy Moulter's Island. The Boundary Waters gives me a sense of peace that I don't think anybody finds many other places in the world. It shaped my whole being. That's how deeply it affected me. But when I was 13, I was diagnosed with leukemia. And that diagnosis sort of brought an end to my trips for the time being. I had you know, a lot of really painful treatments. And thinking back on my memories of the Boundary Waters, that's what helped me get through. Here, you guys want me to show you how to tie them all down? After my diagnosis, the Make-A-Wish Foundation came to me. They offered me all sorts of things that they'd given to other kids trips to Disneyland, visits with celebrities, swimming pools, and even a pony. So a couple weeks later, I told them you know, what I want to do is I want to protect the Boundary Waters from this proposed sulfide or copper mine. They tried to figure out a way that they could help me accomplish my wish, and they couldn't. So I decided I'm going to have to work for my wish. So this past June, we went out to DC and we had our official launch of Kids for the Boundary Waters. This is our wilderness, it's our future, it's our public lands, and it's our country that's at stake. We were taking kids out to DC, we're getting kids involved, we're teaching them how to be advocates. And I know we'll be joined along the way by many other kids who care about wild places. So with that, I'd like to invite one of our board members, Julia, up to say a few words as well. I think the Boundary Waters has taught me to really know who I am and not listen to the outside noise. Especially this past year, having gone through cancer treatments, when I would have to go into MRIs and sit really still, I would just imagine that I was in the Boundary Waters. I'm really honored to be the next step in this fight. And it's really exciting to see all these other kids around me stepping up. I'm hoping to encourage kids who may not have already come to the Boundary Waters to see how life-changing experiences here can be. The Boundary Waters is worth saving because it's a place that's really affected a lot of people very deeply. The Boundary Waters is this wilderness. It's remained that way because people have thought it was special enough to protect it. I think it's important that we carry on the legacy of protection for future generations who deserve to have the same experiences. Today we vote with our dollars and our voices, but very soon we'll be able to vote with our ballots. Our ultimate goal is to protect the Boundary Waters. Your donations will help fund Kids for the Boundary Waters and the Save the Boundary Waters campaign, help us continue to go to D.C. and meet with lawmakers, fight bad bills and bad amendments, and convince people to stand up and do what's right. If we keep at it and we keep working and we don't let up, we'll be able to achieve permanent protection.